Hey everybody, Chris Pettit here with First 15 Live. If you're watching later, go ahead and skip ahead 60 seconds and you can cut past some of the chatter here at the beginning. Glad to have all of you on board. As soon as you jump in, feel free to comment and share and like. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready to go. And we will dive in. And if at any point this is helpful or I say something you like, hit that thumbs up button or comment. And let's engage in conversation. And then anybody who is in our group me, um, I'd love for you to let me know if you got the group me this morning and if it was helpful. So, good morning to Cheryl and Nika and Gail. Tammy, glad to have you on here. About 10 more seconds. That's right, Timothy. Right in the middle. Good morning, Timothy and Terry. Good morning. Leslie, good morning. All right, go ahead and share. And um, and hopefully that group me was helpful. Emma, good morning. Love you, girl. Um, if, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, group group morning, um, a mom, the partners thing was on Monday night. So if you go to the partners page, um, it'll be there from um, Monday night. Nice. Okay. So Cheryl's getting it. The Facebook notifications too, good. Um, all right, if you haven't shared, go ahead and share. Let's get that out, and uh, let's get started this morning. Good morning, Pam. All right, so um, the verse we're, we're coming from today is um, Mark chapter 13, verse 30, which is kind of this crazy, crazy uh, verse Here's why it's crazy. Jesus is talking about the end of times, and he's listing all these crazy things that are going to happen, and wars, and different deals, and um, sun being darkened, and, and all these deals. And uh, then he says this, Assuredly, I say to you, this generation will by no means pass away till all these things take place. What a curious statement to make, because you know we know from history that generation has passed away, and those things did not come to, to pass. Um, hey, mom, it, it may have said um, in the title, may have said March 6th. That's my fault in the event. <laughs> I put the wrong date on it. Um, anyway, Jill, good morning. Glad to have you on here. All right, so um, let's, uh, um, sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a second. So um, it's odd that Jesus would tell them, hey, this generation isn't going to pass away before all these things happen. But the generation did pass away and those things didn't happen. And you know, they were thinking that. Um, I believe that Jesus wasn't talking about a, a literal generation like um, like we see generations, but he was talking about an age, you know, a season of, of the world and that age being the church age. Meaning, you know, in the Old Testament, he worked through the people of Israel. And now in the church age, in the New Testament age, it is... Um, the church that he's working through, and the church not being a building or an organization, um, though it is organized, right, and it's sort of an organization, but I don't mean directly like this specific church organization, but all of us together as the body of Christ, right? He's working through us and, and bringing his purpose uh, to come to pass. Now, here's the interesting thing about this. They thought they were the generation that this was going to happen in. And honestly, every generation since then has thought that they were the generation that, you know, the the end times were coming. You know, like, this is it. And um, and we look at America today and some of the immorality going on and some of the, the issues coming on. And uh, the, um, um, that's, that's the kind of stuff, like, makes us feel like, this is it. We're we're at the end. I mean, come on. Anybody ever feel like you're like this is it? We're we're out of here soon. <laughs> you know, um, if that's you, give me a thumbs up, or you can say me in the comments. And um, um, good morning, Michelle. So so that's the the craziness of it. Yeah, if you haven't shared this, go ahead and share this. Is every generation has thought like we're it, we're it, we're it, right? And I'm not saying we're not it. I think there's a lot of signs that point to we're getting close to the end. But I think the more important thing is to learn from the generation in the Bible who were told by Jesus, like, this is it. Um, awesome, Michelle. 
And uh, um, I think that group me is going to work. So if you're in our partners group, you need to go to our partners group and click on that group me link and, and get involved in it. Um, it's just a simple way to get notified of, uh, of when we're going live. So um, good morning, Karen. If you haven't shared, share this. We're, we're, we're about to wrap up in here, here in a second. But here's the most powerful part. Like, we need to look at what the church did have back then and what that generation did with this statement. What did they do? Well, they worked like it was the last generation, right? They built like there were generations to come. Does it make sense? So they, they fervently, they they pursued God. They put like, hey, this is it. We got to work. We got to get this going because this is it. We were running out of time. We got to make this happen. But yet they built with the vision and they taught with the vision. They discipled with the vision like Jesus wasn't coming back for another hundred years. So it's uh, it's 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 powerful for us to think that way. Like, hey, because we can think because, you know, maybe we're getting towards the end. You know, hey, the world's going to hell in a handbasket. And we can have that kind of mentality. But God has actually called us to make a difference. To make a difference. We're up to 19, y'all. Thanks for the shares. Um, that That's what God's called us to do. So in light of the fact that we might be the last generation, what should we do? We should work our bottoms off trying to reach people for Jesus, right? Get involved in the church. Get plugged in. Don't do it alone. Do it as part of the mission. Good morning, Danielle. Um, you know, get it, get it, get it going, you know? And then... Um, think though, don't, don't just be willy nilly about it. Think long term. What can I do? That's again, be a part of a church. Why? Because we're building something bigger than ourselves. That's going to live on beyond ourselves. Good morning, Lisa. Glad to have you on here. Um, does that make sense? And so that's what the, uh, Rosemary, good morning. That's what the early church did, right? They focused on, we're going to work like Jesus is coming back tomorrow, but we're going to build like he's not coming back for another hundred years. And so that's what we need to do um, because we are part of that generation, whether it's, you know, in 10 years, 20 years, 50 years, 100 years, he's coming back and we need to be a part of his purpose on, on the earth. Amen. So let me challenge you with that. Let me pray for you, Michelle. I got your prayer request in here. I'll, I will definitely, we'll be praying for your mom. Um, that's right, mom. Yeah. Live as though he's coming quickly. Plan as though he's, he's going to tarry. Um, we hit 21. You guys are awesome with the shares this morning, making a difference. Again, if you haven't joined our partners page, you need to go join that. You can watch. We do a partners only stream on Monday nights. You can watch this past Mondays. Also, um, we have a link there for our group me. It's a private group me um, that you can get in. Um, it's kind of a reminders group me to kind of let us know, you know, what's up, you know, when it's coming. So um, anyway, um, let me pray for you, Father. I thank you for your presence in our lives, God. I thank you for your purpose in our lives. And I pray, um, Lord, I pray first for Michelle's mom, God, and, and that, Lord, that everything would go well with her procedure tomorrow. Um, and Lord, you just bring instant healing, but we also pray for wisdom for the doctors and just, just health all around in that situation for your purpose to be accomplished and for peace for their family, God, for financial blessing. You know how those situations come. I pray for all those, Lord, who need healing mentally, emotionally, physically, relationally, in marriages and the kids, God, that you would pour out your spirit, God, and Lord, that you would fire us up, that we are world changers, God, and you've placed us in this generation on purpose, whether this is the last generation or we're preparing the last generation, whatever that looks like, God, you've put us here for your purpose. And I pray you would use us in that. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. And everybody said, amen. Hey, you're a world changer today. Go make an impact. If you haven't shared this, share it. Let's get the word out. Um, and, and man, you guys are amazing. Yeah. Love you guys. Bye for now. Spend some time in praise and worship. You know, get a worship song on. Uh, hear from God today. Amen. Amen. You'll be glad you did. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 630.